For the last six or seven years, I've been working on this book on the saxophone. I felt it was important to write a book on the saxophone because very few pe other people have actually written about the saxophone. Many other instruments, flute, trombone, clarinet, um, they've all got lots of different books on them. The saxophone has nothing like that kind of scholarly literature. And the publisher involved, Yale University Press, uh, have instituted a series all about musical instruments and they asked me if I'd write a book on the saxophone which would fit in that series. That's how the book has come about and it's just been published. So the saxophone hasn't changed a great deal from the saxophones of the 1850s. The basic layout is the same. The keys have changed a little bit. The linkages are a bit more sophisticated. Essentially though, saxophones from the mid 19th century look very much like saxophones today. These keys here were originally on the other side of the instrument. It sounds like the human voice. You can manipulate it quite like the human voice. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons why the saxophone became used by a lot of jazz musicians is because they associated it uh, with the blues singers, with blues vocal techniques and found that they could reproduce that in their own jazz improvisations. The saxophone as an instrument is rich in various extra musical associations, uh, particularly of course with the jazz tradition. And so it, it, it's become not only associated with that tradition, but specifically with uh, African American uh, saxophone playing, or African American jazz really. So the, the figure of the black tenor saxophone player has actually become quite iconic from around about the 1930s really. Um, where the saxophone and the black tenor saxophone player were taken as uh, representative of the American jazz as a whole and, and to some extent of American culture, certainly American musical culture as a whole. So because of that association with the black American jazz musician, this does mean that at various times the saxophone has been caught up in other people's rather more racist agendas. Later today I'm giving a lecture on the saxophone and this is my inaugural lecture as a professor at City University. I've been waiting a little while for this one because I wanted to tie it into the publication of the book on the saxophone which has just come out.